Hi, I'm Ben, co-creator of Calipeg. In this video guide, you will learn everything you need to know about how to use Calipeg and make 2D animation anywhere on your iPad. Calipeg is a pixel-based animation app designed for iPadOS and the Apple Pencil. I will start with a short demo about how to make an animation in Calipeg, just to get used to the basic tools so you can start using it for animation, and then I will explain in details every feature and tool. When you open Calipeg, you are in the studio. When you start, your studio is empty, but then you can just create shots, scenes, and folders to organize your animation production. We'll see all of that in details later in the video. But first here, let's create a shot. I tap on the plus icon, then new shot. I can name it my first animation. I can choose the size of it with different presets, or I can double tap and enter values. I can choose my FPS, frames per second, and the length of my animation. You can change the FPS and the length later in your animation, but for now it's not possible to change the size of your shot after creating it. And you can go up to 4K pixel resolution. You can also decide to create several shots in a scene or not. But here I stay simple. Create. Then you have your Calipeg interface. If needed, you can go to the settings general and go to left-handed interface. You can also flip the sidebar position to your preference. You can pinch the canvas to zoom in and out, rotate, pinch to reset. If you don't have an Apple Pencil, you can go to settings, canvas, allow finger drawing, and then you can draw with a finger. But for this guide, I will switch it off. Here you can choose your brush. I will go for the default brush. You can choose the size, up to 500 pixels, and the opacity. You can choose your colors here. You can erase with the same brush. You can undo an action or redo it. And you can also do so with two fingers for undo and three fingers for redo. We also added a great feature to just switch between eraser and brush. So here I draw, and with a finger on the screen, I can just erase. Or the opposite, I can erase, draw, erase. And you can enable or disable that feature in the settings, canvas, allow finger tool switch. Long touch with two fingers to display the floating menu. There you can access the color wheel and erase everything in your current sheet. You can also cut, copy, paste, and flip. So for example here, I can draw, and then copy, go to another frame, and paste. And then I can transform. To transform, I just tap on the transformation tool, and I can rotate, move and scale with a finger to keep the ratio. And then I can just validate here or switch frames to validate and apply my transformation. You can also select one part, transform and move it. And I will explain later more about selection and transformation. So now let's start our first animation. I will erase here and here, go back to my brush, and draw. I want that to just move across the screen, so I go to another frame. I can enable or disable the unknown skin here, which will allow you to see the previous or next sheets to stay consistent in your volume and movement. And if you can't see anything here, you can just tap on that to activate that sheet the one before the current one, in your onion skin. And then I can just draw another frame. Here it's a bit too much in the volume, so I will just transform and scale it down on the y-axis. I go to another frame, and when I draw, it will automatically create a new sheet. I draw another frame, and I will copy and paste the last one.
When you want to create a new sheet, you can just go to another frame on an empty space and draw to create one. Or you can double tap anywhere in your timeline. Now I can play my animation. It's a bit too quick here because each drawing is one frame long, so I can double tap to select and extend it or compress it. Here I will put it to 8 frames long, 3, maybe 2 here, 4, and 6. And now the timing of my animation is really different. That's basically how you can animate in 2D using Calipeg. You can press with four fingers to play and stop. And even flip with three fingers. So you can just draw and flip like that. Like you would do in traditional paper animation. You can also display the floating menu and flip from there. Or flip just with the timeline. Now that I have my animation, I want to put colors in it. So I can tap on the menu of that layer, tap the eye if I want some info about what it does, duplicate without content, it will create a new layer with the same structure, but it will be empty. As you can see here, I can press on the top of the layer pile to open or close it. I double tap on the name to name it colors and on the other one to name it line. And now I want my color layers to be under the line layer so I can long touch on it until it becomes orange and then I slide it down. Now I have two possibilities to color my animation. The first one will be to choose my color here and simply draw to color my animation. And the second one is to use the paint bucket. So I can just tap here, but there it won't work because there are holes in my line. So I go back to my brush, I close the holes on every part of my animation. At any point I can just disable the onion skin and hide the bar. And then go back to the paint bucket and just tap, hold, and go to the right or the left to increase or decrease the threshold. And that's how you can add colors to your animation. You can do anything with your timeline. For example, here I can double tap on that, put it there, and it will be pushed at the end of my animation. I can select multiple sheets with a double tap several times, unselect with a tap, I can also select multiple sheets with a tap and tap drag, which is one tap and then one tap with a drag. Tap, tap, drag. It's important to get used to that gesture so you can just be quick. And I can also split my sheets with a slice on one layer or several. If I go from up to bottom, it will keep the content of my sheets. But if I go from down to up, it will make empty sheets, which can be very useful when doing in-betweens. You can select multiples and have gaps in your timeline. And I will go deeper in the timeline possibilities in a specific part of that video. I just go back and here I want my ease out to be more pronounced. So I can just split, then tap and drag to select those two sheets. Enable the onion skin again, transform, and move it back with a finger to keep on the same horizontal line. So here I can see the shape slowing down more. And if I play, it will play only the selected sheets. So I just pause, unselect, and then play. Let's add a final touch with a simple background. I will add a new layer with that icon here. There are different types of layers in Calipeg, drawing layers, video, transformation, which allow interpolation with keyframes, groups, and audio. 
and you can always see the info here. So I will add a drawing layer, long touch, put it under, double tap on the name, background, and then I create one sheet, I extend it, unselect, go to my brush, and draw a very simple background. I duplicate without the content, put it under, select a color, and color fill. And here you have your first animation. You can even change the background color of the canvas by going to the settings, canvas, sheet color, and put for example a blue. And if you want, you can also change the background color. That's it for the first part of that guide. With that, you can just play with 2D animation, draw, make your spacing, timing, play with some different layers, play with colors and transformation. And now we can get more in details in everything Calipec has to offer.